Brianna Quake was captured on camera in Moss Landing. A videographer just happened to be set up and happened to be rolling for the sunset. He got something a little more dramatic instead. Action News reporter Phil Gomez shares his story tonight. And there was something inside of me said, go get your camera. Ed Heffelfinger came to Moss Landing to capture the sunset. Instead, he captured the earthquake as it unfolded in October of 89. He says he saw it approach 10 seconds before it actually happened. There was a shock wave that came over Elkhorn Slough, and the birds went nuts. I actually saw two or three birds running into each other in the sky. The ground shook so violently that he couldn't walk over to get his camera. The smokestacks are doing this, and that's what, I mean, I wanted to grab the camera and, and and do, you know, get over there with, I wanted to get that. Yeah. Um, I just, I couldn't move, I, I couldn't move. He not only got video of the earthquake, but he also recorded what he believes was a tsunami. The National Weather Service confirmed there was an extremely low tide that day. And I was told if it had been a normal or high tide, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. It would have been a major tsunami. Heffelfinger lost most of his Loma Prieta video in a fire, but says the best of it was saved. The camera that he used 30 years ago never worked the same again. And I hadn't been set up five minutes when it happened. And so it's just, it was supposed to happen, I guess. It was fate. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.